and Station Houston, Space to Ground 2 for O2 Teardown. Looking ahead, when you get to step 4.5, if you'll give us a call, we'll do that step for you. Only about a half an hour away from now from the uh, farewell ceremony. You can see the shuttle crew members and station commander Scott Kelly uh, making the best of the uh, time that they have left. And there, this workout going on now inside the uh, permanent multi-purpose module. You can see that the uh, the lay of the land, as it were, is uh, changed dramatically over the course of the uh, past several days as the uh, shuttle crew members and their uh, station colleagues have been unpacking and uh, out re-outfitting this module, getting all of the racks in place and getting a lot of the packing materials out of the way so that there is uh, a lot more space available here in the, uh, in the center of this new module. The PMM is of 15 feet in diameter and uh, 21 feet long from approximately this camera position to uh, just beyond Steve Bowen in the background. About the same size as the Columbus Laboratory module.
Steve Bowen in the foreground, Nicole Stott and uh, Al Drew with a uh, taking a final few laps around the uh, permanent multi-purpose module. We're uh, just about a half an hour away from the farewell ceremony as Discovery's astronauts uh, bid their last goodbyes to the Expedition 26 crew before they uh, head back into the shuttle and the hatches between those two vehicles will be closed for undocking tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock Houston time. <laughs> Station Houston on two for Katie and zip ties. Go ahead on two. All right, Key, um, if you should uh, decide to relinquish your hold on the shuttle and go after those zip ties after all, we got a good stowage location for them when you're ready to copy. I am ready to copy. It's in your brand shiny new PMM, the Starboard 1, Bravo 2. In that location, you should find 1.0 CTB number 1374-1374. And there are 75 of these 14-inch zip ties in there. That's really a lot of visiting vehicles. 